People Deep in the 90s got used to all this, right? Totally. With Peter Griffin on with <laughs> suction top. <laughs> suction. <laughs> Composure. I am composed. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Stop playing music, I know it's Can you hear that? Me. I can't hear that. I can hear it. Oh, just, yeah. That's not creepy music. It's, it's hurting creepy. my ears. I'm you can turn it down on your bit. What? Can I? Where is it? You're gonna put your what? Hoodie. You're gonna put your oh. hoodie on. <laughs> it's fucking genius. Okay, one second. We're, like, diving straight into this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear the music, can you hear it? I'm glad I yeah, can't I hear it. it. I've got a funny feeling this I is going to be, like, uh, Outlast. The power of the mind. The power of the mind! You know what it is? There we go. Okay. Ow. <laughs> okay, one second. We're gonna start this soon. We're gonna start soon, okay? I promise. You've been saying this for right, There we go. I think everything is up on my head now. Okay, sweet. Let's see how long it takes for Nose to notice. News to notice what? Precisely. There, there we go. Rustler Rust Jones! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so immature. Oh, but it's awesome. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's this one guy, right, in Twitch, <laughs> during a stream that says, like, I want to win in the game. And I was like, yeah, cool, bro. Just add me on Discord and we'll talk about it. Never did. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Damn, that was SLB. five days ago. <laughs> <laughs> You're just thinking of what to talk about. <laughs> what can I say? Mm -hmm. He's considering it very, very deeply. Don't be concerned. It's okay. <laughs> He's not worthy of your time. He isn't. So. Hey, I need like. As many players as I can get right now. Well, you've got me and Dan. My my most desperate yet. <laughs> hey. I don't know what he's talking about. He said he's playing with us because he's desperate. You're desperate? Yes. It's like that was my most desperate I was ever. I oh. really need like all the players right now. Oh. He's too desperate for us. Oh. He's too desperate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm getting really rustled right now. Okay, okay. okay. I'm trying to see if I can see this right now. Oh, fuck! God damn it. Good to know. Stop breaking your place. <laughs> Never! <laughs> okay. I'm assuming that you both know each other. Do you know. Do you both know how you know each other? Who is he? <laughs> I he's, literally have no he's idea. He's Barnable. <laughs> no, what's your name? Brucey. Brucey. Brucey? Brucey. Uh, what, what are you known for? I was an ex-soldier, but I'm an explorer now. You were what? An ex-soldier. Alright, then we met from there. Okay, so, so we were both like ex-soldiers? Yeah, we were both we, we were in the same unit. Okay. Okay. So you we... went on to a life of, of adventure, I guess? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I own, I'm only 26. <laughs> You're only 26? Yes. <laughs> He's a puppy. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of like twice your age right now. And I saw that and I was like, crap. <laughs> 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 this is going to look weird. 
<laughs> Daddy's <laughs> boy! No, I, I think, like, what we should do, right, is so I'll put in the army in the same unit you and he looked after me. And then I went uh, off to adventure and then we met up again. I went over to America and, and met up with... I was gonna say, uh, like, I was in the same unit you were in, mm -hmm. but I'm like one of those, like, veterans that they talk about in, like, the stories. Oh, you uh, went back in those times, this guy did this and that. Yes. And that's like how we met, because like, oh, I, I met the guy, and like, he's a pretty yes. okay dude. I, I and really he wanted to meet you doing thing. your thing, and I did my thing, and after that, I just like became business guy extraordinaire, and now I'm like a philanthropist. Yeah. I go to all sorts of like fancy events and like charity and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yes, he's, he's like the that. Tony Stark. He's a hairy Tony, yes, much hairier I'm, I'm Tony Stark. The scarred up Hulk. He has jacuzzis, oh and he has God. pictures of himself on a rug I am so all over glad the I house. Met Admiral Barnaby. <laughs> I am so glad we met. We okay. go in a jacuzzi, <laughs> sipping champagne. Getting naked on bear rugs, I mean... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone! It's a secret! <laughs> And everyone knows all of <laughs> too much. <laughs> who's the top and who's the bottom, or are you just a side? <laughs> that oh my god. Boy is a bottom. <laughs> Please no. I have that, that boy is a bottom. <laughs> that boy is a bottom. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. We will be good. Okay. We'll be good. So you both know each other clearly from the army. Yes, he was a legend in the army and I went out. Oh legend. Him. Legend. I went out to get, to get taught how to be a soldier and like he took me under his wing and crap. Under his furry wing. And then when, when he, he, he left the army to become the philanthropist, I, I, I went off to be an explorer. Okay, brilliant. So you've both met up recently, kind of... Um... Oh, hey Barbie, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna wing most of this. Okay, so you both know each other from and we met up recently, kind of gotten together, had a few bits of like a couple beers down at a local pub somewhere in wherever it is in America that you. you... Yeah, where's, where's your resident, residency? Where, where's he? He's somewhere in America. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and you both decided to go on kind of like a little bit of a trip. So you're both in the car. Who's, who's driving? That is the main thing right now. <laughs> I was thinking them days it would be like respectful for, for me to have drove and let the veteran chill out and be like chauffeured about, especially seeing how Are he's we arriving in. like together to this event? Yes. Alright. Okay. Let's... Unless you want to drive, Barnaby. Uh, I don't know. Usually I have someone like drive for me. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah, well, I'll, yeah no, I'll, I'll, I'll drive. Okay, so Brucey is in the front, he's driving, you're in the back, you're chilling, having the cigar. No, I'm next to him. Since we're going together, then I'm just like in the side. With your hand on his lap like this. Okay, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm cool. Right? Okay. <clears throat> With a cigar between my fingers. <laughs> Don't burn his crotch. Um, <laughs> okay, let's start this. Despite racing against the rain on your way northwards, the storm finally caught up with you in the earnest, and with it, the night has fallen. Fallen would be a better word. It's black and riven by lightning. CR, did you see our sound effects then? Hey. Hey. Hey, we'll do our own sound effects Pro. today. Pro sound effects. Conditions, <laughs> conditions on the... <laughs> I'm fucking laughing about that. Conditions on the rain-swept road force your speed down to a virtual crawl so that your headlamps can pierce the gloom and keep you on the path. The only thing certain now is that the weather behind you is worse than what which surrounds you, driving you onwards. What should have been an eventless journey has become something dangerous and unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Without warning, something runs into the path of your car. A pale Jesus. figure <laughs> raises up as if from nowhere, and you swerve and brake to avoid hitting it. You have time to just enough to realise the figure is a woman. Okay. Her eyes wide and her mouth open in a scream. Would you like to roll to see if you hit her? <laughs> yes, what well, Okay. Are we so, both rolling or? No, no, just you're the one that's driving. Okay. okay. Because this 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 
five thing is really difficult to do on this. It's 20. We're just going to do um, forward slash roll 1d100, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're just going to copy that so you can just paste that whenever you need to do one, okay? Okay. okay. So press space, see if you actually do it. I mean, enter. That was meant to be another word. 26. What's your drive? 20. <laughs> Fuck. Not good enough. No. Basically, what happens is... <laughs> You can't seem to complete cover it's like the shock and her own up just caught you off guard. You clip her with the car. Oh crap, should really do my test. <laughs> she literally bowls over and then fumbles onto the fucking floor. Sorry. And the car <laughs> comes to a halt. <laughs> that, that's the break. Yeah. Go on, what do you want? You fucking hit that woman. Oh should we keep going or stop? What do you mean keep going? Are you crazy? <laughs> I don't want this to go my insurance. Yeah, no, no let's go make sure she's okay. We will we'll go. I, so, I'm, I'm opening the door and going outside. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing the same. We're both going outside to okay. make sure she's okay. Okay, so through the rain, you both kind of stumble forwards to this woman that's lying on the floor. Arms straight, just miss? sprawled out. Miss, are you okay, miss? You hear like a little, uh, like a little groan from her. I'm so sorry. She's not really acknowledging what's happened. She's just on the floor, sprawled out. Um, she's just got hit by a car. I'm not surprised. Is, is, is she bleeding? Yeah, she's 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 bleeding. She seems to be wounded. Wounded, but I, I've I've got like first aid. Can I see if I can like do some first aid on her? Yeah, absolutely. If you want to roll, just do a d hundred. So just press enter. Again. No, do a, a control V, and then enter to see if you do it. So you got a one. So yeah, so. You've, you've managed to do that. So you've noticed that, um, um, oh my god, I can't believe you're here. I tried. I can't believe you're here. I tried to swear, I didn't try to hit her. I you mean, I tried to... You fucking, you hit her with your car. Okay. So, you kind of notice that, um, it's not just the wound that you've given her that is there. Okay. She seems to have been hurt badly just before this. Wounds. Oh, thank god, I mean, oh, oh my god, you're, you're already hurt. <laughs> Wounds um, seem to be at least, some of the other wounds, like a big knock on the head, bruises falling over her body, seems to be about an hour old. Right, okay. Um, and she just seems to have a nasty scrape in her cheek, though, just recently done by yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry um, about the cheek, but where's all this other stuff from? She kind of wakes up, and she looks just, she looks like a, like a startled rabbit. Her eyes are wide, you know, and she's just staring at you like, you hit me with your car. <laughs> we need to get the lady to the hospital. Come on. Yeah, no, I'll oh, pick, pick her up. up. But, yeah. Oh, so you pick her up? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's just... Who's you picking her up? put her in the back of the car. Bye. Okay, cool. So she's just limply, like, flopping around in the car. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming you've gone back into the driver's <laughs> seat. For some reason, yes. <laughs> and you're just continuing down a straight road. Mm -hmm. um, the weather is getting so much worse for you, though. Okay. It's getting really difficult to drive straight. Um, okay. It's just... Trees by the side, dark, single row going up. Um, you do see kind of like, kind of looks like street lights going on ahead. Mm -hmm. There seems to be lights from windows going up forward. Um, not too many. It seems to be about like two or three building lights that you can actually see. Okay, so a few lights. So do we know where this hospital is? Or are we just driving blindly trying to find it? So far you're just driving blindly. It's too much um, rain. The weather's just lightning. You can't really see much what is going on. Should, should, should we try and stop at one of these houses and see if we can get her any help here? Or should we just keep trying to try and find a hospital? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. I said we'll just open up a roadmap. We have oh, need fine. to have a roadmap, don't we? Did you pack a roadmap? Yes. It's, it's part of the car. If you yeah. get a car from like a certain place, you have a map of the place. This is really early. There's no GPS or shit. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so I so, open the glove box to get a road map out. Um, there is no hospitals nearby. You're pretty much in the middle of nowhere. You know that there's um, like a restaurant, kind of like an orchard farm going on, a little gas station to the side of it. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much surrounded by wood woodland at the moment. Um, with the crazy red weather, you don't know if you'll be able to drive safely. For It'll be about like a five-hour drive to actually get to a hospital. Okay, um... 
I, I would imagine that the farm would have medical supplies being a farm. Then let's go like to some like establishment because then we can use a landline and call. Yes. So, so should good. we go to the restaurant then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you pull up to the restaurant. Um, you see that there's already another car that's actually seems to be swerved out of the road. Mm-hmm. It seems like it's crashed into another post. What is it with drivers in the 1920s? <laughs> Like really old cars. <laughs> they are really old cars. The, 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 no traction. No traction. No traction it, at all. You um, know, like the ones that like they like have a little swoop at the front tire. Ah, uh, to crank it. Like, yeah. 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 Pretty spiffy car. Spiffy yeah, okay. would be another word I would spiffy. use. Nice spiffy. 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 Um, as you roll up to um, the establishment, um, she actually seems to perk up quite a bit. Okay. And you kind of... Does anyone roll for a listen at all? Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah go on. <laughs> oh, what an amazing roll. <laughs> I'm assuming that's a fail. No, what are you talking about? It's almost 100%. <laughs> no, but what is your... <laughs> I'll just have a look. <laughs> it's almost 100%. <laughs> Where is your... <laughs> your... No, you don't hear. Can, can I try and... You can try. I'm deaf now. I'm deaf now. <laughs> I can't hear. 1D 100. Yeah. My, my listening gets worse than yours, so... <laughs> Damn it! Okay, no one hears. Um, Everyone's deaf. <laughs> I'm going to assume that um, Bert looks in the rearview mirror and actually sees her that she's actually Bert clutching Bruce. some... Bruce? No, Bert. Yeah. His character. Is actually... She's actually <laughs> clutching something to her chest. Please, it's Samuel. Samuel, I'm so sorry. Samuel, you see that um, she's clutching something to her chest. How are you doing, darling? Um, who are you people? We definitely didn't hit you with our car. I think you did. There's doubt We're here. trying to get you some help. How are you feeling? Are you hurt? Feeling pain? Of course I'm hurt. I'm in a lot of pain. You hit me with your car! What, what happened to you before, though? I, I, I can see that you were bruised and you've got a head injury from before before we hit you. Um, I was with my, my grandfather. Just this light. Just this light. She kind of Don't out. worry about it, dear. We'll find a place for you to be. Go to hospital in some bed, someplace nearby. <laughs> you say some bed. Some bed. Some bed. Some. Oh, some bad. Okay. She just kind of shrinks into herself and she's like, My, my name's Amelia. Hi, Amelia. What, what's that you're holding? She kind of shoves um, um, this piece of jewellery into your hand. Ooh, okay. Uh, it looks kind of like really antique sort of chain coin-like medal. Ooh, like a medal? Like a, an army medal? Not an army medal. It looks like um, kind of Delia. like... Pardon? A medallion? Yeah, a sort of medallion. It's got random like inscriptions around the side, but it's not English. Okay, I kind of wish Unless I could improve my language. Unless someone would like to roll... Um, uh, I don't know any language, just his explorer here. Yeah, I've, I've got nothing. Does anyone have anything like um, Cthulhu Mythos? Do we have that? Nope. Nope. We're, we're just going to a gala. We're big, big guys going to a gala. We're not plus some. Oh, yeah, you haven't got anything, have you? No. Okay, so this it's just a piece of jewellery to you. It means absolutely nothing, but she kind of leaves it in your hand. Okay. What, in, in mine or fan Whoever yours? grabbed it. Do you want to keep holding uh, it? Briefly. Me? Yeah, no, I'll keep holding so I'll, I'll, I'll like, it. I'll give it to you. i like put it around my neck to keep it safe okay. until she asks for it back. Okay, so she. I'm assuming the car stops because you looked away from the yeah, wheel. Yeah. Okay, she quickly... Well, we stopped by that car, swerved out the restaurant, You did, we? yeah. So she, she gets out of the car mm-hmm. super fast and she just runs to the fucking restaurant. She just oh, okay. leaves you both behind and just runs into the restaurant. Well, she must be feeling better. <laughs> I, uh, I, I sigh. I better go in there and make sure she doesn't do anything stupid. Well, okay, I'll, I'll follow. I'll, I'll, I'll also come. No, but we, we lock the car and take the keys and whatnot. Okay, brilliant. So it's kind of inside the... It's more like a cafe than a restaurant more than anything. 
Um, it's pretty run down, but everything still seems to be a bit new. Mm -hmm. The paint's peeling though, because they're cheap little bastards. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, but there are five people inside the cafe. Not in, that's not Amelia is not there though. So there are people inside. But... Yeah, there's five people inside. There seems to be um, one is a waitress. Mm -hmm. There's two old people. I'm just kind of hov like. Is there someone by the counter? Yeah, yeah, the the obviously there's the waitress and there looks to be like this big fat bloke just there behind the counter as well. Can, can we ask where Amelia's gone? Because she just ran inside. Can we? Be yeah, like... if anyone saw a girl running, where'd she go? Yeah, go on, go go talk to whoever you want to so talk I'm, to. I'm gonna ask the the waitress. I'm gonna be excuse me, miss. Um, we were just with a, a young lady. Um, she just ran inside of here. Do you know where she's gone? She was she was a little. I'm gonna go injured. over to the fat guy behind the counter. Like, motion to him, like, yeah, the same question. Okay, so, first for you, Brucey, um, the woman is young, she's about in her 20s, pretty young woman, uh, curly blonde hair, mm -hmm. heavy makeup on, like, okay. she thinks that she's, like, the shit, she's got, like, she stands up really tall, high heels, standard sort of old-fashioned little crack little waitress things, tray on her hand, mm -hmm. um, and she just holds out her other hand to you, she goes, um, Mary Laker. Hi there, Mary. My name's Brucey. Can you answer my question, please? What was that? I didn't hear you. Oh, I, um, we were just with a young lady that was kind of her, and, but she just ran inside in, into your, your diner here. Do you know where she's gone? Uh, she kind of deflates and she goes, oh, her. Yeah, she's in the back. She just, she, what's wrong with Amelia? Why, what, what, what? Nothing. Why do you want to talk about Amelia? Because what's so hurt. good about Amelia? Yes, yeah, so what if she said? What's good about her, though? That's... Nothing's good about her. I uh, turn around to the fat guy and ask if he saw a woman walk in. Oh yeah, she's in, she's, she's in the back. She's in the back. Just leave her where she is. She just doesn't want to be touched or anything. Like, be touched. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to just walk past Mary now because she's, uh, she seems pretty mean and I'm going to go into the back. You're going to try and go into the back? Yeah, she's hurt. Okay, so... Um, the... Do you have a landline? So he's asking. Oh yeah, yeah, we got a landline. A landline. As he says that, he looks to Brucey and holds out his hand. He's a big bloke. He's a bit taller than you, but he's heavyweighted. Mm -hmm. And he goes, "No." Okay, so I'm gonna say, but I, I want to check on on Amelia. She's hurt. Only um, staff. No, go. And he pushes you back with pretty much a bit of force, so you stumble back. He then turns to um, Samuel. And points to in the corner behind where these two old people are. Um, he points to actual landline and goes just I, there. I do like like two taps on the counter, like thank you very much, and then I walk head over there. Okay, yeah. So you walk past the two old people to the landline, mm -hmm. and you hear them kind of muttering about um, this light that they they saw. Can I well, hear that? Muttering well? about what? Wait, what'd you say, Krabs? Muttering about what? Uh, a light. Uh, all right. Um, they're like, it came out of nowhere, there's this light. I just, I nearly hit something. And they just kind of like, the old woman kind of pats the old man on the back and she's like, it's okay, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I hear these, this old couple from where I'm? You can roll stuck. for a listen. Right, okay, so I'm going to roll for a listen to see if I can hear. Damn it! Yeah, we yeah. are deaf. You are deaf as fuck. You hear <laughs> nothing. You're just stood there by the counter. He's the the fat man, um, Sam, mm -hmm. is just stood there with his arms crossed, glaring at you for trying to go to the back. Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna walk over to Samuel and to ask for advice of what to do here because he, cause he is my, my veteran buddy, so. I'm going to let him finish off with his phone call and then... Okay. I'm assuming you've picked up the... Yeah, I'm going to try to make a uh, call to emergency services. Uh, the line is dead. You assume it's from the really bad weather that is getting a lot worse. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously the thunder, the lightning poosh, flashing pretty frequently now. It seems to be really close though. You can actually see like the, the, the lightning the little, as they show. Mm-hmm. Right, so I'm gonna put the, the what is it called? Receiver. 
Yeah, thank you. The receiver back, please. Can I, uh, walk back to the Beep. counter. Um, when I see Samuel doing this, I'm going to tell him that I went to grab, try and check on Amelia, um, and also tell him about the conversation I had with Mary, the waitress, um, how she was like very dismissive and pretty mean, like no one cares about Amelia, and how they wouldn't let me go check on her. Do it, tell him. So, hey Samuel, I, I asked the waitress over at the, at the front about Amelia, and she said that she she gone into the back, but no one cares about her, why am I asking about her? And then when I tried to go check on her in the back, Sam pushed me back and was like, sorry, staff only. I, I, I think we should check on her. You know, she said something about that light before and, and she can't remember anything and then I may have clipped her with my car. So, I think, wait, what are you talking about? This old lady talked about some light and I don't care that her old lady is. As far as uh, Amelia being in the back, that's fine at least we know where she is. Staff doesn't want us to go there. That's fine by me because think about it for a second. If your staff there, bruised, injured woman runs in, and then two guys immediately show up asking about her, I'd be concerned too. Yeah. If we know she's safe, and then we can make sure she gets the treatment she needs. But right now we have bigger concerns. No, 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 that, that makes sense to me. But this this old lady mentioned something about a light. Um, I don't know. Old uh, people. <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly turn to the old couple and just politely excuse myself into their conversation just go um, excuse me miss sir did you say something about about a light and something like that um the older one looks up at you and the husband um obviously they're, they're in their their 60s mm -hmm. um the husband just looks shaken as fuck he's shaking he's got his coffee in his hand and he's just shaking he's spilling all over the place and he looks really upset that he's actually spilling his coffee and he's like i'm making a mess um, the woman just turns to you. <laughs> I'm making a mess, damn it, I'm so shaken. Um, <laughs> the the woman looks to you and goes, yes, we're, we were actually on our way here, but we were just passing um, Orchard Wood and there was this light that ran in front of us and we, I don't know if we hit it, we might have, I don't know, but we swerved. I did hear something scratch and, and you know, we just, we got out and ran. I've never seen anything like it before. Oh. Okay, so you, you I'm gonna can... ask the guy behind the counter if there's any like hotels or anything to sleep nearby. Good. Um, Sam Andrew nice. just kind of uncrosses his arm and he goes, mm, "No, not really. Um, everything's way past this area, though." Okay, so I, I'm I'm also going to go over to Sam and just ask him do we know where we are by the way do we know what where we actually are or can i ask him where we are okay yeah, yeah, of course right, you can so i'm gonna ask sam where we actually are just yeah. excuse me sam we're a little little bit lost here can can you tell us where we are oh uh, yeah yeah you're at orchard run it's about i mean if you're i'm assuming you're going straight um north you'd be going to bolton i'm assuming that's like a four hour drive I uh, look uh, at my uh, watch. Which watch? What time is it? It is about nine p.m. The time seems to have just gone since when you first um, clipped Amelia with the car. It was about six, but it seems like something's gone on with the time. It's just three hours have somehow passed. Um, wait, what? What date is it? It's the eighteenth. Yeah. We're not going to the car, are we? I don't think so, Samuel. <laughs> I think we may have missed it. Well, at least I can take off this black tie. Then I go to undo my tie. A puff, a puff of I hair would, comes I from his chest. Right now. It's like Austin Powers. <laughs> 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 I, I'm going to leave mine on because Brutey likes to look smart. <laughs> you see Mary looking at you like twiddling her things like, Hey! <laughs> Okay, so I'm I'm going to go back over to Mary uh, to see if I can find out why no one cares about Amelia. So I walk over to her um, and go, hi, Mary. Um, so how come no one cares about Amelia? What, what, what's going on there? <laughs> She's just a rich, spoiled little princess. Why should we care about her? 
I mean, she seemed pretty hurt and just a little bit concerned of yeah, her well-being. Yeah, they'll deal with that. And she kind of like bite a nail looking out the window. I don't know. Really so, so someone's looking after her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Sam will fucking sort that out. Okay, so I, I say, okay, um, I turn over to Samuel and say, hey, Samuel, do you want anything to drink? Oh, I'm good. Thank you, though. Okay, so, so I'm, I'm going to order some form of drink, seeing how we're in this diner. Okay, um, so okay. I'm going to order a coffee. Okay, so it'll so be like, we'll go, say hey, about... Mary, can I please have a, a, a cup of coffee, please? Of course, darling. You go to Sam and pay him, and she okay. walks off. Um, Samuel, do you have anything in... Um, you know what, I'll give you a luck roll. Roll a 1d100 for me. Samuel, are you okay? What did you say? <laughs> Roll we are deaf. <laughs> you are deaf. Roll a 1d100. For what? For a look. Look at what? Just look. It's a look roll. You're just going to have a general look around the diner, I think. It's almost 100, they succeed. <laughs> I'm with Samuel here. Go on. What is your look? Ninety. No, I'm gonna let you do it. Um, so you're kind of just looking around, and in the window, just where the woods are, you actually see, like, a light, just kind of filtering through the woods, like it's floating across, and then it disappears. And then Mary comes out with a fucking cup of coffee for you, okay, and it so smells like shit. It's the worst smelling coffee you can possibly think of. Okay, well, That's what you get for not asking for like. Milk or sugar with it. Well, that's how Brucey likes it. <laughs> shit coffee. Tastes Bru- Brucey, like shit. That is shit. Brucey's used to the... Uh... Essentially mud. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I will thank Mary and then go over to Sam so that I can pay him. So I ask yeah. him how much the coffee is. It's three dollars. So I, I pay him three dollars. Okay, and he just kind of so. huffs, stuffs it in his pocket and walks away. Just so doesn't I need want to take three dollars off the money that yeah, I've got. Yeah, that's cool. okay. How's our car doing outside? I don't know, how is our car doing outside? Well, it's locked. I mean, you've just left it outside. Unless you want to go and have a look at it. No, can I see it? Like, from the... Like, from the there? Yeah, because he does have a look outside, didn't he? He saw the light, so... Yeah, it's, it's a bit difficult to see the actual car. It's raining pretty much. You can see the silhouette of it. And as the lightning kind of flashes, you kind of see, you see that there's a bit of a dint on the side of it from where you fucking got Amelia. Uh... So, um, whilst I'm sat down at the, the counter bit, because I've sat down to drink coffee, I, I then pull out the medallion that, that Amelia gave me to try and inspect it, just, just to have a quick look at it. Um, and I'm just pondering that as I'm sipping my coffee. Yeah, they look I'm like... Join. So, so Samuel's come over to join. So yeah. I, I, I'm going to say to you, Samuel, that... Um, that the, these in, these markings around the edge look kind of like runes because uh, I know this from my exploring so so I'm going to say that it, it looks like some type of runes it looks kind of cool but 1920s speech <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they had cool back there no they did oh, okay mm. I'm going to say nifty though nifty, nifty nifty is pretty yeah, nifty say it, it looks pretty nifty and, I, and I'm like got it on the palm of my hand shaking it round like right, looking at it. It's quite a chunk of metal you got there, indeed. <laughs> Why, thank you. Um, so, I've finished my coffee. Um, so, who else is in there? There's the old couple. So, Sam, you've got Mary. Sam, the manager, Mary, the waitress. You've got Winifred and Teddy, they're the old couple. Right. And there's a big, hefty bloke in, like, farmer's clothes. I'm um, just on the other side, just kind of looking at everyone. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to go back over to the old couple because I've finished my coffee uh, okay. I'm just going to say hey Sammy I'm, I'm just going to go check on that, that old couple I, that guy looked pretty shaken up when I was uh, asking about, <laughs> about that when, when he was telling us about that light so I'm just going to go see if he's okay um, so I'll go over to was it Winfred? Uh, Winfred's I the just nod Okay, so, so I'll just go over and just say, uh, excuse me, sorry, um, 
my, my name's Brucey. Um, I know, dear. <laughs> you you said so before. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm not going to say that then. <laughs> <laughs> you already said it now. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. No, so so yeah. No, I introduced myself again and said, "Hi, look." Like I say, I'm Brucey. Um, are, are, are you two okay? You look pretty shook up. I, I know that you nearly hit something in, in that light. Are you two okay? He kind of puts his empty cup down. Coffee's just all over the table. There's no point of him even having one. And he looks up to you. You can see just how big his eyes are. He's absolutely terrified. And he goes, that wasn't human. So it's... I- the, the, the light wasn't human or, or the thing you nearly hit wasn't human the light the thing it wasn't human and as you as you says that the lights kind of dim a little bit and flicker come back on and you hear something that sounds like <laughs> like outside like okay, this massive so screech I instantly I, yeah, I thought I, I thought it was a uh, door squeaking <laughs> I, I just look at Samuel and it's like what was that I just look around, trying to figure out what's going on. I also start looking around yeah. to see if I can see what that noise was. Okay, so everyone's just kind of like, Sam's just there like, lights. Um, the old couple are kind of hugging each other now. They're absolutely fucking terrified. Um, the farmer guy just kind of like sat down and kind of gone really sullen about everything. And um, Mary just comes out and she's like, has, has anyone seen Jake at all? Um, sorry, Mary. I don't know who Jake is. Who Who's Jake? Oh, he's he's my boyfriend. He was um, he was in the woods, and I haven't seen him for a few hours. Um, um how long have we been in the? Dance? With the storm outside, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of like glares at you, um, Samuel, and just kind of turns more towards uh, Brucey. She's kind of like puts her arm on like your shoulder, kind of runs it down. She's like, "Would you? You seem tough." Maybe. Um, yes. Would you maybe just have a look for him? I'm not sure yet, Mary. I'm not, I'm not quite used to this area, and I'm not quite sure where I am, and I just heard a really strange noise, and... Well, you should protect us, because you're no, big. I'm, I'm not going to go anywhere, so you're, you're okay there. And do I have... My gun or anything? Yeah, yeah, you've got your gun on you. Ah, okay, so okay, it's okay, Mary. We'll, we'll, we'll stay here. Jake will turn up sooner or later. We'll, we'll just wait for the storm to pass. Um, so I go, I'll go. i go over to the farm that's over in the corner that's looking at us all um, and just ask him if he's seen weather like this before, if you've got a general idea of how long it'll last. I, I suspect because he's a farmer, he, he would know something like yeah. that. He just shakes his head and goes, no, it's not even supposed to rain today. I don't know where this came from, but something's not right about it. Okay, I'm, I'm getting more suspicious, so I go back over to Samuel and I, I, I say, I, I, I think something's a mock here, Samuel. Um, I mean, Amelia was already hurt. We clipped her, they won't let us check on her. I just, that that noise is playing on my mind. That I, squeaky I, door sound. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think we should oh. investigate. I think we should have a quick look round and just go check on the car. And I, I you're cutting off for me. Okay. Um, the sound's cutting off. <laughs> no shit, Daniel. <laughs> Let's have a look. One sec. We'll we'll get on this. I can't understand you. <laughs> Can you? It's. We, I mean, we've got full bars here. So is it something on your end? Same. I don't know what's going on. Hold on. Okay, now I'm getting scared in real life. Hold <laughs> <laughs> oh, on Because you're a beautiful man. What did you say? Did you ask me? Oh no, I was asking Daniel to roll me a cigarette because he's a beautiful man. He's a beautiful man. Princess. In the game. And in real life. Yes, that's what it says on his sheet. <laughs> Alright, what did you ask me? I'll, uh, by the way, I've been like sitting in the booth just like pondering the situation and how we move from here. Well, I, didn't, well, I, I said that I, I came over to you um, and said that I'm getting a bit suspicious. I'm, I'm getting a bit concerned. I think something is a bit of a muck here because, you know, Amelia was already hurt. They, they, they seem a bit hesitant to let us check on her. 
Um, the old couples all shook up, said that that wasn't human. Um, said we've heard two different instances of of there being a strange light. Um, so I think we should, you know, give it a bit of a check out. You know, give give it a bit of a perimeter check, and you know, just scout the area essentially. So I've just come over to ask what you think, whether we should, you know, give it a bit of a scout. What you want to do? Whether you want me to just to scout, whether we should scout together, or I. Uh... I nod as he tells me these things. I look him in the eyes and give him a nice little smile. You know what I think, Brucey? Go on, Samuel. I think we should go back in the car and try to make it to the gala. Okay, yeah, no, okay. I, I'm I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm do you, just... Yeah, do you, I think you understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go over to Sam again and just see if I can politely ask if I can just give one last check on Amelia. Uh, just, just to see if she, she's all right. Let me, let me see if I can. Yeah. Okay. You do that. I'll, I'll uh, start tidying myself Go, up. Yeah. Wait for me. Put the car. Yeah, Be back no, in a moment. No, no worries. So, so I start to leave. I, I go over to the old couple on the way out and say, "It's okay. Just relax. Wait for the storm to pass. You'll be fine." Um, and I say bye to Mary as I'm walking out the door towards yeah. the car. Yeah. You hear Winifred the little go, can we have another coffee, please? <laughs> uh, I'm uh, going to go to the waitress. Yep. And I'm going to put on my best smile, my nicest gaze, and politely ask her if I can go to the back. Do you want to roll, um, what would you roll that? Would you roll charm or persuasion? Of course. Of course I'm rolling charm. It's rolling go on, charm. roll charm. I need to see this, if it will work. Because please. Ah. Uh... Did you not? No. I'll. You know what? I'll let you roll it's, it again. It's, it's it's because it's because she's taken. <laughs> <'Cause she's> taken. <laughs> That's the only reason as to why. Damn you, Jake. Just for the hell of it, for roll like this. See, I don't get your rolling system. This either way, you've got two success. You've got like you've rolled the first match was six six. It's a success either way. There you go. So you've done it. Yeah, you've done it. She kind of like flutters her eyes at you and she goes, can I come with you? Like, just imagine for a moment, like I approach her and then I sit, like, like the camera's behind me. I approach her and ask her, can I go to the back? And then she looks over at me and then the camera turns to my face and then you can see my avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Shing, there's like sparkles everywhere and there's ribbons and shit. <laughs> it's the fucking best picture in the world. <laughs> oh, that's, that's class. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, God. Um, sure, lead the way. <laughs> so she actually grabs you by the hand, gives it a little squeeze, and starts humming like a little like like a little nursery rhyme as she kind of brings you to the back, um, and she pushes you into the toilet. Oh <laughs> uh, wait, is there toilets in the back? Not like yeah. kitchen or things. Yeah. You're, um, on the way to the toilet, you do see that there's like a little staff room. You see there's a kitchen at the back. And then it's got like, just like a, a unisex little toilet thing going on. She pushes you into there and she just kind of grins at you. Like, like she, the cat has caught its meal for the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With that fucking smile. <laughs> Look at the no, picture. Uh, hold on, hold on. Um, before we do anything, probably should go outside and tell my friend that uh, it's going to take a moment before I join him. So you can go back and wait for me at the car. Can you go do that for me? Do you want wait me? Yeah, just tell him um, toilet or something. Okay, don't move. And she kind of walks out. Well, she runs out. <laughs> um, yeah, she's hopefully, gone. my friend uh, Rusi is already in the car, so she's gonna look for him outside. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna go and go to that staff room. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So it just it's one of them crack little push doors. Oh, it's locks. Yeah, by the way, I'm gonna draw my gun. <laughs> Holy okay. shit, okay. 
Okay, but I, I'm... it's from my uh, holster, so it's like I'm yeah. going to my right. my code and then pulling it yeah. out. Okay, yeah. So pushing it open, it's just a stereotypical. It's there's a couch, a crappy couch that looks like it's seen better days. A table, ashtray, and there's like a little bookshelf and a desk and another chair. Um, but on the Is couch, there any signs? Go on. Yeah, what's on the couch? Yeah, Amelia's just conked out on the couch. She is. Yeah, she's asleep on the couch. Killed up in a little ball. A- asleep or dead? <laughs> Would you like to roll for that? I mean, I'm going to have a very hard time seeing it, but yeah, I don't mind. How do you want me to roll it? Um, let me just have a look at With the couch. sheet or without? Do, you know, just, just roll a 1d100 and I'll let you know. I've seen... Mary come out yet? I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna say you got that. I'll be one with you. Alive um, or? Dead? She's alive. She's breathing. Um, she just looks actually peaceful right now, which is unusual the way that everything's just happened. All right, but I'm gonna. She murmurs. She's murmuring in her sleep. I'm gonna holster my gun and go back to the like back out the door and to the front. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mary's not back yet, <laughs> so it's just Sam, the old people, and the, the farmer just in the background. Um, yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna go back to Brucey now. That's all I was there for, just to see if she was actually dead there and fine. <laughs> she's like run off outside trying to find you. <laughs> she thinks she's getting made. Um, <laughs> um, Silly Mary. Okay, so you're in the car. Mm-hmm. Um, you see a like. Um, a drenched, obviously because of the rain, Samuel coming towards the car. Mm-hmm. But just behind him, you see a light kind of burst. It seems human-like. It's got a human shape to it. Okay. I, I don't notice it. I go over to Prithi after I close the door. It's like, well, she is just fine in the sleeping bag there. She's A-OK. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I go, yeah, Samuel, there, there was... A weird looking light behind you just there. Is it still there? Oh, it's still there. Oh, there's a weird it's light moving. over in there. It's moving, Samuel. It, it appeared I, as I, soon as you came I out of the door. Look at it. Yeah, you see the exact same thing. That it, it doesn't look that far away. It's about, let's say, about 15 feet away, kind of amongst just behind the line of trees. Um, you see, it's actually got like a head shape and shoulder shape. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of slumping through the trees. So I, I put my hand on my gun ready i'm not going to draw it out but i'm getting i'm, I'm hey, ready Bruce, how about you start driving that is a better idea that's what i'm going to do i'm <laughs> going to start the car and we're going to start driving away okay as you start the engine you actually just because it's just the side of it as you start the engine and look to the side you see it whip around and you see the black holes where i should be where its mouth should be and its mouth is unnaturally large like it's have you seen the mummy where the where the mummies come out oh, and their yeah, mouths go can... <sighs> massively huge? Oh. That's basically what it's just done, and it's lunging towards you. I floor it. You want to roll for that? <laughs> floor it. Floor it. Please floor. Please floor it. It starts. You pull into the. You pull out. It's screeching, and you're going down. I want you to roll again as you're pulling away. This thing is literally behind the car. It's pretty fast for some reason. Oh. Okay, I'd say to Samuel, I'd say, Samuel, get your gun out. Just be prepared to shoot. I uh, unholster my gun and put it on my lap. Hey, hold it there. So I'm going to try and... Okay, yeah, yes. you're still driving. You're driving. You're going through this road extremely well. Even though there's, there's lightning, it's raining. Army training, just... You're going, training. we're going to say, you, you, you put it in my foot. You're going about, let's say about 45 miles per hour. No, okay, You're going pretty fast. This thing is still keeping up with you, and it seems to be slowly getting closer towards you. Okay, so I I say to hey Samuel, this is we're we're going forty five miles per hour here. This is not natural. This is what 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 is this? I don't know, but keep driving. So I I keep driving. Roll. Roll. Oh please, please three in a row, three in a row. God damn it! That was not three in a row. <laughs> All of a sudden, this crack of lightning, it hits one of the trees. The tree falls down in front of you. Roll again to see if you get it or not. So is this driving again? 
Yeah, this is trying to see if you actually hit the tree or not. Okay. Oh, we, we, we hurt. You fly into that fucking tree. The car lifts up and then slams back down. Is this thing still behind us? Oh, yeah. This thing I is... I instantly pull my gun out. As soon as we land back down and, and you know, like it stops bouncing, I, I draw my gun. Okay, uh, I want both of you... I'm pretty roll. shaken up from that hit. Yeah, you're gonna be freaking hurt from that. We, we were both in the army, you know. We were, we're used to getting. You're still a car accident, man. It's still a car accident. You yeah, you hit still, that tree. Still, still shaken up, but we can still. Uh, well, actually, yeah, 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 are we, guess how badly what, Dad? I was in the army too, and I can tell you for sure that I'm not immune to car accidents. <laughs> 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 um, oh, all right. So, how how badly hurt are we? How? I want you both to roll, we'll say a d4, one d4. Okay. So just do slash, the word roll. Hey, Space. it's almost four, so it doesn't count, right? One it's a failure. d4. Space. Enter. Sorry, enter. Okay, so you take two damage. Okay. And you take three damage. So... You've now? got... There's... Okay, so for Samuel, you've got a bump on your head. It's bleeding just on your forehead. And... Right. Oh, and you have... Let's see. Your nose is kind of... Your nose is gushing blood at the moment. It, the there's a possibility car. it may be broken because your face <laughs> kind of... You slammed into that steering mm -hmm. wheel. Did they have seatbelts back then? I don't know. I'm assuming you didn't put it on because you didn't say. Yeah, no, I was too scared. <laughs> I, was, I saw that light. Samuel told me to drive. I just listened uh, to my superior and drove. If there are seatbelts, probably just on your hip. That's it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. That thing is right at the re on the back of the car now. And you can actually see it now. Oh, oh um, okay, that, that's scary. What you thought was a body full of light, it kind of looks like dripping oil. Um, and there needs to be light emanated from it within it. It's got two gaping holes where the eyes are, light bursting out, and a, just this gaping mouth. Um, I can, where is this? I can't see this. Let me see. Actually, did I put it on? I didn't put it on. I didn't put it on. Um, are you in the stream? Um, I'm in the game. I put the stream in the background though. Yeah, the stream, I put the picture up on my camera. Either way, like, the stream is delayed. Don't put a picture seconds. of yourself there. It's me, I'm so pretty! <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, this thing looks to be oh, around... Oh, okay. Yeah, you seen it? Yeah. This thing is tall as fuck. It's, we'll say, about nine feet tall. Um, it's just kind of like... It's skin, what should be skin. It's just dripping, constantly shifting. And it's, you can tell, even though it doesn't have eyes, you know that it's looking right at you. And it swings its arm on the car and you actually hear something, um, I wouldn't say sizzling, but you smell burning. Okay. And where its arm kind of slaps the car, um, it's eroding. Oh, okay. So I'm... I, I'm Wait, where where is it positioned right now? Because we're like behind the car. In front, in, yeah, in front of us is like a tree. Yeah, so there's a right tree. The the car's kind of a bit the up the top slope and everything like. Usually you're on the side of the car. I'm assuming mm -hmm. you're on either yeah. side of the car. Um. So this is what I'm gonna do if Brucey wants to cooperate with me. Mm -hmm. I wanna uh like get out of the car, take Wait, a few what, shots at it, try to like go around it, and then. Like, start running. Okay. Like, like, go to I'll your side, then you can come out and shoot okay. at it too, and we can. Okay, let's draw run. a picture. So, so come here. Well, I'll move you well, all we'll, to we'll, here. We'll just say that we get out of the the side that um, he didn't hit because he only hit one side, right? Okay, that's the car. I'm need, saying that's need, the car. I need a mouse. Hold on, I need a mouse. Hold yeah. On. I want to freehand this. Okay, that's the car. The fucking monsters there. Mm -hmm. Um. That's the tree. That's the road. More trees. What, what side's the driver's side on? Uh, the, the yes, yeah, so the driver. So this is you, Dan, mm -hmm. and then this is Samuel. You're right there. Okay. Okay. Uh, and yeah, the monster is that big squiggly line, right? Yeah. yeah. 
And what, what side did he hit? What, what side did he it hit the car with? It lashed out on this side, so there's like erosion going on here. Oh, on the back, right, okay. Yeah, it's on the back. So do, do, do you want to get out your side, Samuel, or are you getting out my yeah, side? Yeah, so what I want to do is I want to do like, go out to here, take a few shots at it here, and then like mm -hmm. keep going around it until I reach your end. Mm -hmm. as, and then once like I'm right here, mm -hmm. can get out as well or get up right now and start shooting as well. And then yeah, we, like, no, we I'm, I'm going to get out way. at the same time and, uh, and start shooting at the same time as you as you're getting and, round so I'm gonna try and, and then we it. either run like <laughs> with the street or we could just like bail it to the forest which I don't really like the idea of yeah no, no I don't think we should go in the forest so the thing is going to the forest is a better chance to lose this thing but you know, I don't know cause when, when cause it was it seemed like it was flowing pretty pretty freely through those trees it seemed like it could move mm -hmm pretty swiftly so I think that we should just try and yeah tell you what let's check a few shots at it see what our bullets do to it and yeah. if it doesn't work we can or it does we can decide what we're going to do so we both get out at the same time yeah I'm yeah. going to take a shot at it with my 44 okay I'm going to let Samuel do it first right yeah yeah I'm, I'm I like kick the door open it's already, the car's already trashed. Yeah. I'm gonna take my gun out. I already had it out, sorry. I'm gonna take him on that creature thing. Yeah. This huge creature thing. I'm gonna start, like, sidestepping around it, taking pot shots in its direction. Go for it. What do I need to roll? Uh, 1d100 to see if you hit it. So how far away from the diner are we? Um, you went pretty fast. I'll We're not that say... far away. No. Nah. Probably not that far away. You can see the lights in the distance through the rain. Do, do you think we should run, try and run back to the diner instead of running down the street still? Or... Well, you'd have to run past no. it. No. Well, Samuel's got to run around anyway, hasn't he? He, he could probably climb anyway. over the tree. No, we are not We are not going back to the diner. <laughs> no problem. Okay, so you, you fire one off and the bullet hits it and it's what you assume is its chest. What happens is it looks like it the way you shot it, the oil just kind of drips over and kind of devours it. And it kind of, huh, and it coughs up the bullet. And as it coughs up the bullet, you see it just kind of like melts away and it comes out like kind of like magma. Like magma. <laughs> magma. Like, <okay>. Magma. <laughs> so, um, All right. I'm, I'm going to keep doing the side step, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's, he's constantly moving. Okay. Um, it's yeah. now facing you, though, Samuel. It's kind of, it is looking at you. Yeah. It's kind of slumping forward towards you. So I'm, the um, idea is that I take a shot at it, it looks at me, then mm -hmm. Bruce takes a shot at it, yeah, and no, I'm, I'm gonna, it over there. Can, can I say that I'm aiming for it? Because I've seen him just take the bullet in the chest and cough it back up, so I'm yep. going to try and aim for its face. Yeah, to yeah. try and find some form of weak spot or something. Go on. So is it a D100? Yeah. Yep, you shot it on the other side of the chest. It I looks to you. Head. Oh, you own for the head. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It hits in the head. It comes out. You see it pass through the mouth, through the light, you see the silhouette of it, and it just goes straight through. And as it comes through, you see it's red hot and it just starts to melt and drip before it's leaving like a little metal melted trail on the floor and it just goes, whoo! Samuel's still constantly moving. Um, yeah. Where am I at this point? You are, oh fuck, I can't see, one second. So you've made it to, we'll say about here. Is he still concentrating on Samuel? No, it's looking at you now, it's okay, slumping so towards got... you, so it's now... I'm yeah. gonna take another shot at uh, is it uh, like knee? Yep. It's humanoid shape, right? It's humanoid, so it does yeah. have something that resembles legs. So I'm gonna shoot at the uh, center of its legs. Oh, I missed and hit the car. <laughs> Not the car. You hear the kunk as it hits the car, and it it's just its head whips around and faces you. Oh, crap! Yeah. And it starts walking like backwards while facing you. And it's going to lunge its arm out. You're going to hate this. Let's see. Oh, and it misses. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> it misses, but where the ground is here, it's like fires kind of started to happen. It's melting away. So there's a little bit of like a little flame. All right, going All right I'm going to stop trying to shoot it and just bolt it, run towards Brucey. Um, while he's doing it, I'm going to try and get his, his, his attention back on me. Yep. So I'm going to take another shot at it. Just, just... That, uh, I don't know whether we've shot him in the chest, the face, and the, the leg, but we missed the leg, so I'm going to attempt to shoot him in the leg again. Okay, go. 
Yep, you hit it. It's it buckles over with its head still facing the way. So it, <laughs> it's the most weirdest thing I've ever seen. So it's on its legs, hunched over, but its head is looking up, and its head just kind of like flips oh, around over. and looks at you, and it lets out this this bellowing screech, the one that you recognise you heard before. I knew it wasn't a door. <laughs> And it's gonna just, it's gonna start to um, crawl. It's now, we'll say about here. So it's getting closer and closer to you. But it's buckled, it buckled when I shot it in the leg. Oh yeah, yeah, it's crawling on the floor right now. Hey Sam, Samuel, I, th I think we should shoot it in the legs. That's the only thing that seems to have affected it in any way. Yeah, it does take some damage, I noticed that. Um, where am I right now? Uh, you are, I'm going to say you're here, because you've I'm ran through that little bit now. of a flame, or you've ran around yeah. it. So it's the monster that's that now in front this of me. This is the monster. Okay. Let me just see. Okay, this where, is the monster. You? This is Samuel, mm -hmm. and this is you, okay, and it's I'm, pretty close to you I'm, right I'm going to start, like, quick stepping to, to the left. I'm, I'm going to start to come over, over here, so Samuel's got a clean... Alright, run. Okay. We're, yeah. we're, we're going this way? Yeah, I, I've moved out slightly to the left, so I'm slightly further away from the car. And I, I've just moved to the end of that line. Alright, we should start running then. Yeah. Okay. If you got the opportunity, we should start running. Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, with the rain, there's puddles, rain, thunder, lightning. I want you to do... A, I don't know if I would do a dodge or a track. Let me just have a look. Sorry, let me just have a proper look. We'll say track. We'll say it's running. We'll do track. Mm -hmm. So go on then. D hundred. D hundred. Both of you. Oh, it's not going to go well for me. <laughs> do. Uh, so yeah, Daniel, you myself. face plant into a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> At least my nose is clean. <laughs> And he falls right next to you. I'm assuming you scramble back up and continue running. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, as you're running down, you kind of hear it screeching behind you, but it seems to be getting further and further away. Like, it, can't, it hasn't got up yet. Oh, thank God. Um, as you keep running down this, um, this road, it opens up to a big mansion on the top of a hill. And on the top, it kind of says, um, Orchard Ranch. Okay. So... Slash farm. So we're still running... <laughs> And we see this in the yeah, distance. Yeah. So I, I'm... Orchard, ranch, slash farm. Yeah. It's a bit of both. Hey, so it, I'm not... It's like everything possible. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Everything's and possible. The farm. Um, I'm, I'm going to suggest to Samuel. Hey, Samuel, I think we should try and get in this mansion, farm, orchard place. Both of you roll dodge. D100. Yeah, D100. It's always a D100. Yeah. It's almost as if this game was designed for a computer. Hey, I almost won. <laughs> <laughs> because, I love it when you say that. I'm going to let you actually dodge this, Samuel. Because <laughs> that was pretty bad. I almost won. You, you, you literally... I should not dodge this. Duck. I'm, gonna let, I'm just going to allow this. Whenever someone does something awesome, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allow certain things to happen. I'm going to let you duck under this branch as it snaps off a tree and falls. It's going to smack... <laughs> Brucey in the back of head and you're gonna go huh! <laughs> oh, oh, God. and you minus like one damage so you've got how many damage that's three. my three okay so you are down to nine I want you both by the way to roll um, sanity same thing yeah oh wait 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 wait, 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 wait. There you go. I should have put something on sanity shouldn't I? actually let me just try something one second one second don't don't just Alright. Okay, no, so that... Okay, roll your sanity as well, just as we've done it. Oh, like, actually roll it? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, you both... You just brush this thing off, like, you've just seen this huge monstrosity in front of you. You're we like... In the army. We, we yeah, exactly. Some gruesome stuff. You've seen terrible wounds in the army. You've seen people that we, were blown we've apart. We've seen atrocities, so we can... Yeah. We can yeah, handle this. Yeah, exactly. Highly trained man. Highly trained. Uh -uh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
So, so we're, we've started to run towards the mansion now, so we're, we're in the grounds of the mansion, yeah? Yes, you are in the grounds of the mansion. It's a big gate though, there's a wall and a gate in front of it. Is it locked? The, the gate is actually open, there's a broken chain on the floor though, it looks like someone's cut the chain. Ooh, how far away? is this monster still chasing us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But... <laughs> uh, oh, is this monster hell. thing still chasing us? Um, you don't know that you cannot hear it and you cannot see a light. I, I'm, I'm going to say we're pretty safe. You know, I mean, the light's going to be a dead giveaway. <laughs> Look at his name. <laughs> So, so rustled right now. So we are at the gates of this mansion, um, yep. and and seeing that someone's cut the chains to this mansion, and it's it's been like forcibly opened. Yes. So we're at the gates now. We we can't see or hear this oil burning monster. Um. So I'm, I'm going to take that as a good sign that we can't see any light because, you know, it, it's been lights. The whole thing. I mean, we've heard two separate stories of lights. We've seen a light ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> got... <laughs> oh, what an appetite. Can I, we'll I, can, I can understand this. Can we get Brucey? I can get behind this. Do you want a shot? Yeah, shot yeah. Brucey. Yeah, we'll get you a shot. Yeah. Nemo. yeah, we'll get you a shot. Um, <laughs> so is, is that where the mansion is? Yeah, we're going to say where the pictures... <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is where the mansion is. <laughs> <laughs> wait, let's wait, wait. How do I clear? How do I clear I, all this? I didn't think you'd notice I was gonna do a whole thing. <laughs> oh, I know it straight away. I was like, oh my god, okay. that's awesome. <laughs> Let me just. I can't even. You just get a new one. Yeah, but that's already put there now. Oh, okay. Can I not? Oh, ah! Okay, that's the mansion. <laughs> Okay, so we're, we're at the gates of this mansion, so I'm, I'm going to say, hey Samuel, let's, let's stay here. I think we're okay for now. I can't see any lights. I can't see anything. Let, let me make check your injuries and see what's going on. Yeah. So I, I just want to make sure that, that Samuel's I okay. Give, I uh, give him a thumbs up, up and with my, like, still holding the pistol, I, like, look around. Oh make yeah, sure no, we've still got the pistol. Fine. Now. One second. Hi, Hazel. Hey, Hazel. Hey, Hazel. Okay. Okay, do you want to roll to kind of see if you can help him with his... Oops, one second. He needs my help in for opening the door. He wants to kind of help you with your health. Is that what it is? You do yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've, I've got a bit of first aid and whatnot, so I'm just going to see if I can patch you up a bit quickly before we do anything else. Yeah. We, yeah. should, we should probably wait until we're somewhere much it's safer. A, I, 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 Is it? Well, I'll let you do it inside. Can I start okay. that roll, though? Yeah, you can start that roll. <laughs> You're okay, Samuel. <laughs> Heads up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you make your way up to the entrance of the door, you actually see that the door is actually semi-open. Semi. Ooh. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, it's open, there's lights on, and it's just quiet. Hello? Hello. I don't like look at this. I take a few steps in. Okay, yeah. Um, you see, it's it's a grand kind of hallway. It's nice, like marble stairs going up. There's a semi-open door to the left of you. There's another door down at straight onwards. Um, the actual landline on the side. <gasps> landline. Landline. So I'm 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 gonna follow Samuel in. Um, and shut the door behind me. I'm not going to lock it, I'm just going to yeah, just, close it. Just, just close it. Yeah, so it's... I'm, I'm going to holster my, uh, my my pistol. I'm, I'm going to keep my pistol out because I'm still a bit like... Okay, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, still, so this is what you see. Okay, this is the hallway. These are the stairs. Best stairs, okay. Yeah, okay, pretty good representation. Door. Is that where we came in? Door. No, this is the front door. Okay. This is F for front door. Okay, where's the one line? Oh, we'll say this little table here. Ring. Okay, so <laughs> I'm. I'm... Oh, ring. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just. I'm just. It's I'm, not ringing. I'm gonna go check the one line to see if it's like operating. 
It's a deadline. How long are you cold? <laughs> <laughs> you, because of the weather, because it's such heavy rain, it, it seems like the, the line's just dead. I'm, I'm, hey, Samuel, I think the storm's knocked out the lines for the phone. I think we're going to stay here for the night. We found our hotel. Yeah, no, free. <laughs> it's even better. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to check over Samuel now while we're safe. Yeah, I'm gonna find him like, I'm gonna just gonna find a wall and just like lean back and lean down. Just to take a moment to catch my breath. No, so why, why he's catching his breath, I've checked him over and I've him Yeah, so we'll give you your health back. Bit of a bump and a noggin, but you'll be fine. Can I try and like, it, sort myself back out up as well? Much. Yeah, yeah, you can try and sort yourself out. So after I've sorted Samuel out, I'm gonna see if I can patch myself up. Is it back to 12? It's back to 12, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm back to um, my health. Yeah, you're back to your health, but you do know that your nose is never going to be the same again. It had a massive scar on it anyway. It's broken. I, you're going to have a bit of a wonky nose now. So you get a, a, you have to take a point off your appearance. Okay. Because of that wonky, wonky nose. If, woo, hey. Even though I, I had an appearance with a scar. Well, people from... thought it was charming the way it was. Let's see, so I'll, I'll sparkling I'll, 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 I'll hazel eyes. i nose now. Excuse me? Someone said sparkling? <laughs> Did someone say sparkly? <laughs> so, no appearance, but I've got my health regained. Yeah. I can't believe you're just letting me do all this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the mansion, it's big enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I also changed my name again, I keep doing that. <laughs> Kawaii Brutu Desu. <laughs> uh, Kawaii! So I've still got this medallion on there, and yeah. um, we're both patched up. I've patched us both up. Yeah. Um, sh should, should we should, should we scout this mansion out, or do you just want to try and find somewhere to sleep till morning and see if the storm passes, Samuel? I don't think the storm is gonna pass anytime soon. We might as well look what we can find here. here. Ah! Damn it! That just scary. hurt my ear. <laughs> Scare you! I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, so um, you want so to tell you what over there? Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna check this, this door. What this one? Yeah. Okay, it opens up into what looks like. I want to really want to say foyer, but it's not the right word. <laughs> um, we'll say a front room. Um, there's a fire. There's a round table. There's a fire. There's a fire. There's a fire. Fire. I wear no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. I got Bronchitis. then the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. And he's got like, the man doing like. Yeah, we're just like. <laughs> It's, we've not heard or seen this before. We're just instantly started. No, it's a real song like, now. It's yeah, I know, but in the 1920s. Yeah, you just made up that song on the spot, which will go down in history. No, it will not go down in history. <laughs> no one other than us have heard it. <laughs> yeah, true. That's why we're not credited. Okay. There's books, um, and then boop, 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 boop. boop, 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 boop we've not gone in there yet. Boop. You've gone in there. No, we opened it. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is what I you see. In. And then, did you, you come in as well, Samuel? There are two dudes in there. Yeah, I'm gonna take a moment and join up. There's two dudes there. Oh, no, that's us. No. Oh, there's two oh, dudes us. in there. <laughs> oh, oh, hello? Who are you? <laughs> Why did you respond when I was screaming hello? As you open the door and you look in, what you see is something you've never thought you've seen before. Two men having sex. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no. It's 1920s. It's... <laughs> okay, what you see is something Atrocious. Yeah, it's still, it's still got applied. It's... <laughs> that is true. That is true. What you see, there's a man. The first man that you see, we'll say this one here. Nah, the one close to the. The door. one close to the door. I've still got my pistol. I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, both of these men are clearly dead. Okay. The man close. To... <laughs> you put your face on it. Clear. Spark, sparkle. Sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> The first man close to the door, his arm is bent completely the wrong way. He has a uh, gunshot wound to the face. Gunshot, his face oh, just... Go on. And the low half of him looks like it has eroded away. We, and there's we... like burnt entrails on the floor. Oh, okay. Um, the other man 
is kind of slumped in his chair. He's got a gunshot wound to his shoulder. Um, one of his legs is completely gone. Um, I'm, I'm and there's an open so. box that's fallen to the floor. That was clearly in between them two. Oh. Uh, is there anything spill out of it? No. There is a little book. Okay, so... Um... Are we sure they're dead just by looking at me? Oh no, his face has been blown off. His <laughs> Look, they're definitely dead. Burning. They are cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice. <laughs> no, yeah, they're completely dead. I, um, is the fire on? The fire's on. It's, yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm going to enter fire. the room. <laughs> I'm going to enter the room very cautiously. Um, still with pistol drawn. Um, because I'm, I'm not putting away, especially after seeing that. Um, and I'm going to pick up the book. Okay. I'd be careful of that if I was you. It gets up and launches it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> As you pick up the book, uh, on the front it says Dr. Webb. Dr. Webb. And from speaking to Amelia, you realise it's the same last name. Oh, What's okay. written at the front? WebMD? <laughs> What? Web and, and the web medical doctor. <laughs> Dr. Dot w e b b s. Doctor Web. <laughs> okay. Um... What are you laughing at? The word Web. Flat Web. Flat <laughs> Web. <laughs> You've done Spider Man in someone's face. <laughs> <laughs> Come in your Tuesday. face, Spider Man. <laughs> Go Web. It's Go like on, the bye. Simba. Have you ever done a Simba on <laughs> <or> someone? <laughs> Do they know about Simba? I don't know. I've never. I don't think I've told anyone else. Like, do you know? I don't Sim- know what Simba is. When they, oh, you don't know this. On the head, here we go. Like Simba. Yeah, on the head. I know what Simba. I've is. I've done that to my ex, and I hid in the bathroom. Oh my god, you're crazy. <laughs> I hid in the bathroom. I didn't. First off, I didn't know. Hour. that You guys knew what Simba is. Okay, to describe to people what Simba is, is after it's... you've just had, let's say, intercourse, or say, it says, "I'm a stupid, you bitch." Um. Into a sense. What you do is you dip your thumb in the juices and on their head the sexual juice. The sexual on their juices. forehead you do a stripe. You do the stripe and go Simba. Simba. Like Rafiki. <laughs> Just to Simba. And just do Simba. And then you run for your fucking life and you hide. <laughs> As they bang on the No, you don't door. need to run for your life. That's like person choice. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to run. I wanted you know to what, run. I needed you know to, to survive. Is. Okay, so so um I'm, I'm going to say, hey, Samuel, this, this doctor's got the same surname as, as, as that Amelia woman that we may or may not have run over. <laughs> I can't believe you hit her. Could you be any more vaguer? So, um, I, I think this may be Amelia's place. Yeah, we're probably... The uh, man probably... is an old gentleman. He looks like he's in his 70s. One while Amelia looks... The, yeah, one of the people looks in his 70s, the other one looks, um, well, you can't really tell what it looks like because his face is blown yeah, up man. by a shotgun. I'm, I'm gonna go out and lend here and say, Jake? Knowing he's not gonna respond. <laughs> yeah, there's no response. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I open the book and, um, okay. and start reading. Okay, the first thing it says is, May God have mercy upon the physician. Probing anyone? <laughs> it's <laughs> probing time. It's probing time. Um, I was gonna say something, but the discussion like already passed, so it doesn't matter. No, go on. No, you go for it. No, uh, no do it. You have I'll to do it now. <laughs> do you know what a, what the pirate is? The what? No, you no. know what Simba is. Do you know what the pirate is? No. <laughs> it's where you poke one of their eyes out, and they have to like wear an eye patch. It's uh, the nice man or woman giving you a good uh, fellatio, if you will. Fellatio? And what you do is you, you know, finish your business. You finish your business in their eye, (laughs) one of their eyes. I'm sorry, wait, no, go back a bit a sec. Just say it as it is. Just say it as it is. All right, you ejaculate into a person's eye. So you blind them. They have to wear an eye patch. I originally thought it was poking just, their eye out. Just, just one eye, then you stand them up, and then you kick them in one of the legs. That way they have to cover their eyes, and then they're hopping on one leg. 
<laughs> that deserves horror movie music. <laughs> oh, that's class. I well want to do that. No! That'd be so funny. If anyone ever did that to me, they would have to run for their life. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> um, so it says... <laughs> I love how you just fill in with sparkles. Um, so it, it just says, may God have mercy on, on your soul. On the first page. Um, <laughs> there's just so many of these pictures of him. And as you flick through the pages, it seems to go on about a light. Oh, I'm going to say, hey, Samuel, I, I think you should read this. Um, it, it's talking about lights and may God have mercy on your soul. Um, so I, I'm going to give the book to Samuel so he can start reading. And I, I'm going to see if I can see anything else in the room that may be of use. Okay, so you might want to do a look roll first. Mm-hmm. So is, is Samuel going to continue reading? Yeah, yeah, Samuel's going to continue. So Samuel, yeah, as you are... Yeah, I'm going to take the book and keep reading it. That's a really good point. I got me a two. <laughs> as you flick through, obviously, it's t- telling more and more about the light and how it's been alive for thousands of years. This box was found by his father, um, Dr. Webbs, which would be, you've now figured out, would be Amelia's great-great-grandfather. Mm-hmm. Um, and what it needs is something, it talks about sacrifice and how everyone in the family has to do one sacrifice. It says, my father did the sacrifice and he is no longer here. And soon it should be my turn to do a sacrifice where I will no longer be here. If only Amelia had someone to do the sacrifice for her, then this box would never be open again. So this is Sam, Samuel reading this, so I don't know this. You don't know going. this. Um, and it continues going on, it says, light... Even though it is somewhat made of light, light hurts it. Okay. But you don't know that. Okay, and I, I, oh yeah, no, I, I know none of this. It's only you know you none know of this, this. Samuel. Yeah. yeah. Alright, is that all, all the book offers? Yeah. Alright, I close the book and just toss it over to the table, like there's a table between them, right? Yeah, it slides <laughs> off and goes pop onto the floor. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. Because there's blood everywhere. Yeah. Well, Marks. apparently some sort of sacrifice business and uh, creatures sensitive to light. And, uh, well, I want to say we're royally screwed. <laughs> so there's something about sacrifice and light? What, 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 what do you mean? Apparently there's some creature and this family has been doing sacrifices to appease this creature. And guess what? Yeah, I think we should stay away from can... Amelia now. You can put two and two together. Yeah, no, okay, can, can I determine that we should stay away from Amelia and she, she's trying yeah. to sacrifice people? Right, okay, yeah, is no. she though? I think so. that, that's what I'm going to take from it. That is what I'm going to gather from it. Okay. So. Also, if the book is, you know, any kind of reliable information, uh, light does, in fact, discomfort this creature. Maybe hurts it even. Maybe oh, kills okay. it. Who knows? I move slightly closer to the fire, so I'm looking round. Okay, you go into a fire, you feel a warm blaze. Uh, just skin. for the light. Just, just. Yeah, yeah, light. Warm. It's just, I heard that it doesn't like light, so I've moved slightly closer <laughs> towards where the light is. I'm not scared. I'm closer <laughs> to the fire. Cause light can, I, can I give the description of this room again? Yeah, so on when you enter, on the left-hand side, it's just bookshelves. Um, on the other side of the wall, it's a massive fireplace. In the corner near the fireplace, there, there is um, just a table. There's nothing on there. Um, there's a box that's open on the floor, and it's kind of there's scorch marks around the underside of the lid. Um, right. Obviously, one guy's got his head blown off by a shotgun. There is a shotgun on the floor, by the way. I thought I would let you know yeah. that. Um, you take that, Samuel. And there's just the other is an older gentleman in his seventies. A gunshot wound to his shoulder. Um, and one of his legs is completely burnt off, and you can tell that the way that they died, it was ex- it was painful, it was excruciating, it was a slow death, because the older guy looks right. like he's more than anything he's bled out. Right, okay. So, he so you said there was a shotgun, right? Yeah. A single barrel or double barrel? Uh, double barrel. Double barrel shotgun. All right. Is is it um... loaded? No. Yeah. But there is um, there's empty sh- there's are these shells that the shotgun has? Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's shells scattered all over the floor. There's about 
nine shells. Okay, so obviously you get them, Samuel. <laughs> um, what do I see? Uh, I might as well carry it. I, I can use it as a bludgeoning weapon either way. No. Nah. <laughs> bludgeoning. Yeah, I can just smack people with it. But there's like nine shells on the floor, so you can pick them up and, and get yeah, them. Yeah, they're not used. There's, there's like two empty ones like on the floor, but there's, there, there's the other nine are... Um, it's a break action, right? Yes. So I, I rolled nice. for it to the see if there's anything else of use there as well. So is there anything else in there that I see that may be of use? Mm, roll. I did, I got the two. Oh yeah, you did. I'm okay. gonna take the shotgun and use it like, as a staff, basically. <laughs> I'm a wizard. I'm gonna no, tell I'm kids that all the time. Like a normal shotgun, <laughs> just smack with the butt of the gun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I, I, so has he picked up? Did you pick up the shells, or are you you just gonna use it to beat him? The to shells take? are extended. Only two, but there's nine that are still usable. Yeah. Oh, so there's nine that are salvageable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, then I'm gonna pick those up. I thought they were all expended. Okay. Cool. Okay, you. Yes. You notice this box, and on the top of the box, it looks like a face. A face? A face. It looks like it was engraved in, but the face actually resembles uh, that thing that you saw. Oh, okay, so I'm going to put what Samuel told me, and now know that we can discomfort these creatures with light, so we know that our weakness is light. So we... Hey, uh, sorry to... I need the stats for the shotgun. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, the damage is 2d10. Alright. Um, the range is pretty outward, so I'm gonna... S oh god, what is that? I'm gonna just say 15. Mm -hmm. um, right. Obviously, you get... If it's pump action, it's two goes, isn't it? Or is it it's a break? pump or yeah, double barrel? It it's double barrel. No, you said it's double barrel, so it's a sort of So it's two. Yeah, yeah, so it's two. It's yeah. one or two. Yeah. Yeah, you can shoot one or two at the same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, what's its malfunction rate? Um, 22. Alright. And I get nine, sh like, shells. shells. Yeah. yeah. 12 bucks. I don't know if Colin books in America. Yeah. With the chest, obviously no one looking at it, it's got the, sh the, the face of it mm -hmm. engraved on the top. And then you can see this burn marks on the inside of the box as well. So it... For you, you may think it may have came out of the box. I'm gonna load the, the double shotgun. barrel shotgun with two I'm, shells. I'm, okay, just make sure you put that down in your sheet. I'm mm -hmm. going to pick up this box um, and, and keep hold of this box. Cause if I'm thinking it came out of this box. I'm, I'm thinking it can get put back in the box. I'm gonna put you back in the box. <laughs> Many faces there is. <laughs> it's awesome. in the box. Okay. Is there anything mm. else, or is it just that? That's that's what you see in that one room, yeah. Um, um, can I inspect the bookshelf, see if there's anything on the books? Maybe yeah, yeah. Light on Roll. the medallion? Roll. Is it on yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's in the fire! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Nothing really pops out for you as you just kind of lightly just look at them and just continue looking past them. Is there anything I can use to make a torch out of or anything? Yeah. I mean, there is a wooden table there. Okay, so if you want, you could break a leg off. Maybe wrap something around it, stick it in the fire yeah. if you want. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to do that and I'm also going to suggest... It. Hey, Samuel, I, I think you should make a torch as well out of this wooden table. Can we make a torch? I don't think we have, like, the pitch or tar oh, yeah, to make a torch. Anything. You're in a house. Yeah, we're in a house. So, we're, I'm, I'm Yeah, not, but I'm, if you just take a piece of, like, a wood table and light it on a fire, that's not going to last. Yeah, well, I'm going to just get the wood ready to make one, because because of what I've seen from that box, it, uh, I'm, and what you said about what was well, in that box. Well, you haven't box. told him about the box, have you? Oh, yeah. Um, what box? Uh, the box that the book was coming out of. It's got like yeah. a carved face in the front that looks like the creature that we just saw and had a skirmish with. Um, and it, it has burn marks on the inside of the box. So I, I, my, Brucey, myself, has thought that it looks like it's come out of this box. So I've picked the box up thinking, you know, 
it may have come out of this box we may be able to use this box if needed to try and capture it or something how about you toss that into the fire then because we may be able to use it to trap the the monster if, 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 it, if it looks like it come out of the box it looks like that this box may be some form of like seal for it so i don't I'm, know if there's monsters coming out of the box i want to destroy the box but it's your call i just want to get out of here I mean, Samuel has never stirred me wrong before when we were in the army and stuff. He always, his instincts were always on point. So I'm going to trust you here. What are you going to do? No, actually, you make a good point. Maybe if we put that in the fire, they'll make the creature come out. And I don't think we're ready for that. Wow. I think we should probably just leave it here for now. What, leave it in the but, mansion? No, just leave it in this room. That way, if it does come out, we know exactly where it is. But yeah, all right. No, yeah, no, that makes sense. So um, I'm going to put it back where I found it. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of, but I'm going to place the box back down and not have the box on me, just, just in case. And uh, question. Yes. Is there a bear rug around here? Yes, it is in front of the fire. A what? The bear oh, rug. Perfect. <laughs> Ruggy. Are you going to wear it? No, don't worry, I was just asking if it's there. <laughs> this is where the picture came from, where he's on the rug, like, naked, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, just before we, we do whatever we're going to do, we see a camera, right, uh, and, and Samuel lies down, like his avatar picture, and I yeah. psh, take a snap. Um, oh God, I really want to get this picture up. No, do not take the picture up on Twitch. This is the picture they take. <laughs> <laughs> we were in the army. It's all good. It's all good. Do not put that picture up on Twitch. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly on. You hear a screech outside of the house. You Ooh. hear a massive crash and the house shakes. I'm, I'm uh, going to... Another giant tree fell over. We should probably get going in. It, I'm really, I, just before we do go, I, even though I know it won't probably last that long, I am going to break a leg off the table and, and is there anything I can stick the book pages to? The, 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 is there anything I can, is there anything in that room that I could adapt some form of torch out of to make it last it a bit longer? Yeah, I asked about the room and it doesn't mm. seem like it. No, not, not in that room, unfortunately. Do I go, ooh, ooh, I know, I'm still wearing my tie, aren't I? You are. So I'm going to wrap my tie around the, the end of the, no, oh my God, burn, I can't believe isn't it? It's going to be, it's going to be out of cutting or something, isn't another, it? Another crash in the house shape, so another screech. Right, yeah, no, let, let, let's get out of here, Samuel, let, let's go, let's just go. I'm right behind you. Which way are you running? So it came, the, 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 the screen came from the front door. Yeah, it came from like over here. And there was a big And we're crack. right here right now. So, so we should probably like go inside. We can go like through. Yeah, go see what that other door is. Or go up. So, oh, Which do way? you want to go upstairs or do you want to go see what that other door is? Let's, let's think for a moment. It's a mansion, right? 1920s. Yeah. yeah. Got here like a lounge area. That was what, yeah. what this was. Like There's a like a foyer where this is. Okay. Yeah. What can be over here? My guess is dining room. Yeah, some type of eating area or kitchen area. I, I, that's a good. Point. We I think we should go there. But I, like I say, this this creature is going to be sensitive to light. It's going to put it in discomfort. So I, I think we should go to somewhere where we may be able to find something you know, like oil and, and stuff like that. So that we can make some form of torch yeah. out of the the. That that's what I was gonna leg. say. Like we should probably just go this way because we need to get to the kitchen. So as as we come out of the room that we were just in, holding my pistol in one hand, and the the wooden leg table leg on another. Um, I'm gonna just quickly look at the front door where we heard the the scream and crash from to see if the door's been opened or if that's what the crash was. The door looks absolutely fine, but... I hate the box. On this wall here, mm -hmm. it looks like, it looks 
burnt. Oh, as we if, are not alone. And you hear the crash again into the screech, and then it starts to the the charcoal kind of look the black. We look, pelt it. Starts to grow a bit more. We we absolutely pelt it. To see what's to try and find the kitchen, or something. So it's some yeah, that's, that's yeah. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah. As you run through, you do see that it is the kitchen. There's, there's like um, a gas cooker mm -hmm. uh, on one side. There's a table, bowl of fruit. Um, so there any like cloths or anything? Yeah, yeah. It's the kitchen. There's all there's cloths. There's towels, kind of on the sides, mm -hmm. and there's a back door. Right. Okay. So I'm going to. Uh, Dap some form of torch from the table leg and the cloth, and I'm assuming there's like oils and stuff like that in there. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna. I'm I'm on the ready with the the shotgun, just yeah. making sure that he's fine doing what he's doing. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. So you so, successfully make. Is there anything else in there that we could make any more torches out of? I mean, there is a there is a, it does look like there's um, alcohol to the side. Okay, so we're go I'm gonna pick that up as well. So that we can keep this going and, you know, take a Dutch courage swig. <laughs> Is it drinking yeah. alcohol? Well, some of it's like pure alcohol. Okay, I'm going to keep that to, for, for the torch. Yeah. And I'm... Fine Russian vodka. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Russian vodka. So I have a swig of vodka. Um, and obviously I've made the torch. Um, with the vodka, I'm... I'm at this point, because I'm searching, I put my gun away. So I've only got the torch, yep. makeshift torch. I've not lit it yet. Uh, alcohol, I put away. The, the drinking alcohol, I'll swig, and see if Samuel wants it. You want any of this, Samuel? I shake my head. Not right now. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. There's another screech, another crack. That's good. And the actual wall kind of kind of breaks what, open the, a little bit. The one out here, right? Yeah, the one, the one here. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, do, do, is there anything else? We, do, you, do you want to see if there's anything else we can salvage, or do you just want to get out of here? Uh, we already got things to make torch, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we've got, we got some. We got some alcohol bottles with us in case we want to make, you know, grenades. That's great. Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, so we, we've got that. Uh, 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 what else can we get from here? Is there any more wooden? Because the, the wooden leg will eventually burn away. It'll just take longer now. So, is there anything else we could potentially? The whole for... place is made out of wood, necessarily. No, it's so, a um, massive wooden mansion, basically. Tell, tell, tell you what, it's the kitchen, right? Yeah. Is there a proper knife I can take and yeah. put it like in my belt? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, there's a whole okay. wall of like just knives, different shapes, different sizes. Some for carving, some for just, you know, just fucking go crazy. Um, <laughs> whoa, okay there. I'm, I'm also going to pick a knife up. Okay. But just in case. I mean, I've got my knuckle dusters, but I don't think that's going to be very good <laughs> against a burning oil monster. <laughs> no. So, I'm, I'm going yeah, to take, like, a uh, meat knife. Okay. And with that, you hear the wall break where you smell burning. I you hear the sound torch. of fire. I light my torch. Okay, and you can see just through the crack of the door that there's a blinding light. Okay. And you hear something kind of slumping towards the door. I'm gonna, Let's I'm gonna put my gun up and aim at the door and go forward and like push the door open with the barrel. I'm yeah. gonna have my torch. I've dropped the alcohol, the drinking alcohol. I've, I'm yeah. not taking that with me. I've got my torch and I've drawn my pistol out and I am stood behind Samuel, illuminating above his head with the torch. Yeah. If nothing's dripping down on him or anything though, I don't want to hurt him. I'm going to make sure it's safe. Yeah. But there is plenty of light in his vicinity. Yeah, okay. Um, it's slowly still coming towards you. Um, kind of what throwing it? its arm around. It's it's that monster, basically. It's, it's this light monster. And it's kind of running its arm along the walls. And the wallpaper's like peeling up with like the heat. Is that not making light though? Would that not be something? A little bit, but it seems to be ignoring it because it's behind him when it's oh, doing okay. it. Where Where is it right now? Uh, it's about here. So we're at the door, aren't we? Yeah, you two so, are here. So going to the staircase is not an option anymore. Uh, maybe, I mean, I, if you want, if I, I will crouch down and start like crawling towards him with the torch. Ready no, to run okay. back with I don't want you to get too close to it. I'm scared you'll just get like bitch slapped to all hell. <laughs> I, I, 
how, Ooh, how about like, like no, I no. crouch down and you like go forward and like wave this torch in front yeah. of his face and see if he reacts. Yeah, so we'll do yeah. that. It lets out screeching, it kind of like shambles back a little bit, kind of trying Ooh. to cower away. Um, I, I, do, do, do and his eyes that are normally round kind of do like this little Frowning, frowning like, sign. <laughs> It turns into an angry jack o' lantern. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's an angry jack o' lantern. I, I, I think we can go upstairs if you want. We can go upstairs. I will t- keep the torch on him. It's still pretty fresh. I, I still, I still think I've got a good while with this torch, and plus I've got more more alcohol to keep it going. Um, yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go upstairs now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we okay. walk towards the monster. Yep, it um, keeps going backwards. What I'm also going to do is, while it's cowering away with the fire, is I'm just going to shoot it to see if it does any more damage. Cause I already know it buckled when we shot it in the leg, Yeah. Um, but it didn't really affect anywhere else. So I'm, I'm going to shoot it somewhere else with, with the light on it to see if we can hurt it. Yep, go for it. That roll. Did you get it? I think uh, you yeah, missed it. I think I'm on. Oh no, because I'm shooting with my pistol. My pistol's pretty good. Uh, Fire on eighty. Yeah, yeah. Boom, you hit boom. it. As you hit it, instead of what, instead of um, of it like the the oil skin kind of envelop it because there's light on it. It seems to be kind of solid. So as it hits it, parts of it just kind of fly off in like chunks and lands on the floor like brick and kind of cracks a bit. Oh, and it so lets it's out. no longer. Yeah, so it kind of lets out this this horrible, the most worst screech sound that you've actually heard it do. Okay. And it's fucking pissed off. Um, I will suggest to Samuel, shoot it in the face with the shotgun. <laughs> uh, how, how, no, how close are we? Because um, it's backing away from us. It's though, backing away, it? so it's gone about here now. Where are we? Where it was? Um, yeah, you, can you I, are here. Can I make like a quick like half step or one step forward so I can get this thing right into his face, like the end of the barrel. Yeah, yeah, Or as absolutely. close as I can fire. Yeah, yeah, go for it. So I'm going to try that and fire both barrels. Oh, no. I also want, Daniel, I also want you to do a, um, a sanity check in a second, because you have a fear of fire. Oh, crap, yeah. And you have a, you have a yeah, flame no, I in front of that. you. I Good think job. you should carry the torch in a minute. I'm carrying the gun. I have got a phobia of fire. I got burned badly. Uh, <laughs> this is a bad campaign for you. <laughs> um, and you should have told me that there's going to be lots of fire. Are you sure you want to be scared of fire? Well, I'm not. If you want to be scared of fire, you can be. I didn't know it was going to be all fire and a burning <laughs> monster. Well, I think, uh, I think I'm, it didn't work. No, you... Oh, no. Wait, no. You hit. Just. <sighs> You hit. You did 11 damage on it. Um, you shoot it in the face and part of it just explodes outwards and smacks into the wall and crumbles away. And it kind of slumps to the floor a little bit. And it's trying to crawl towards you. Like Alright, no. Th- that's it. I'm going upstairs. Yeah, go upstairs. <laughs> we, we both go upstairs. I was okay. hoping that would kind of kill it, but it, it's still, still recovering. The main thing is, is that it's not healing. It's just this open space where half of its head should be. Okay, so so it's not actually recovering anything, and no. it's not burning anything. And, no. Um. Right. Yeah. Do you want me to do my sanity check? Yeah. Roll for sanity. Oh, oh, oh don't do that. It's um. Sorry. It's. Press it. I, I lose sanity. Don't you I? lose Extreme. sanity. You, you. <laughs> Please take the fire. <laughs> you, yeah. You've probably. lost twenty sanity. Holy! Oh, the memories. Oh, my my arm it burns. Yeah. So you you're kind of getting like back flashes of of when that place that you were in was set on fire, and you just feel this burning on your arm, that one that's burned, and it's like you you're taken back and you stumble back for a second because okay. you're shocked that are, this is. Are we going up the stairs? Or are we already at the top of the stairs? Um, you've gone up the stairs. Daniel's still... Sorry. Um, Brucey. Brucey. Yeah, is at the bottom of the stairs, kind of like... S- just stone still, in shock. For how long? Alright, I'm gonna run back down. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take the torch out of his hand and throw it at the thing. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> Do you want to roll and pro? Then, yeah, I'm going to roll for that. Fail <laughs> miserably. <laughs> the whole building catches fire and I go <laughs> crazy. I failed. You failed. So as you throw it, Please you miss the through. creature. It, it goes over you, by the way. Oh, thank it God. doesn't hit you. Um, it can't hit you. I'm throwing it from your place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. yeah. And, um... But it lands next to the creature, and as the creature actually tries to go towards you, it actually accidentally slumps onto it, and it lets out this scream. And you smell something that smells like burning flesh, and it smells absolutely disgusting, and it's thriving on the floor, its arms are swinging. Um, it's just going to roll to um, see if it actually hits any of you. Oh my god. Who's closest? I don't know, go back on the map. We're basically in the same spot. He came down. Okay, I want you both to roll a 1d... Hundred to see. Okay, so that's you. Fuck. Okay, Daniel, it hits you. Oh, it's about to fire! It basically bitch smacks you across the face, mm-hmm. and you I'm feel gonna, this. Uh, like grab Brucey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And pull him up the stairs. Yeah. So as you're being dragged up the stairs, you feel this burning on your face. Okay. And you can feel. Like, your skin is bubbling. Okay, but is it on fire or anything? It's not on fire, but it's bubbling and it's popping, like it's blistering and the blisters are popping okay. one after another and there's just like this ooze going down your face. I am not a pretty person You right are now. not a pretty person and I want you to take four damage for that. Four damage. Yeah. Okay, so you oh, get up the stairs. You're the medic here. You are. <laughs> um, four damage, so I'm on, I'm on eight now. No, you're on five. Five. Five, twelve. I would have repaired myself, didn't I? Oh yeah, you did. So you've got eight? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, this creature is still know. at the bottom of the stairs, writhing yeah. in pain. Yeah, it's and... just writhing in pain, screaming over and over again. By the way, it, like, I can't take much longer. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's, kind of, it's cool, it's cool. Um, you go upstairs, you see it's basically just bedrooms kind of lit around. Um, it looks like someone's ransacked mm-hmm. the place. Mm-hmm. Um, there's just everything's thrown across the room. There's underwear thrown. There's like girl panties on the floor. Ooh, I pick one of them up. <laughs> um, I don't think with your bubbling face. Oh no, yeah, no, I'm not really. <laughs> I'm just so underwear. I need mean, this, and you press it over to your womb. Yeah, I'm using he's, it to. He's first using aid. Amelia's. Um, oh, they're Amelia's. Pant- oh, no. Yeah, they're Amelia's panties, and you put them on your face. Okay. You have um, like little flower pants put in. Can them. I? Try and first aid myself mm, as Bruce as fish. Samuel is dragging me. Can I try and heal myself? Not right now, okay. no, because he's okay. dragging you. You're just kind of writhing in pain okay. with panties pressed to your face. Okay. Which is the, cool. war! the smartest the thing to do. The war, the burning, the fire. Um, yeah, just everything's ransacked. There's nothing really amazing there, but there's an open window at the back of the actual like hallway up. Can we see what the creature's doing? The creature's just writhing on the floor. Okay, it actually cool. seems to be cracking from all over the body. Can I still... Am I still within shooting range? Oh, no, I'm still in pain. I'll screw that. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm uh, going to put him uh, down on the floor and reload my shotgun. Okay, so you're reloading. You're on the floor writhing in pain. If you want, you can roll a 1d100 to see if you kind of snap out. What's this for? What's it on? Um, that is for... Um, it's a look roll. Um, nope. You come a little bit back, you're kind of a bit more aware of your surroundings, but you don't feel quite there yet. Um, you've now successfully reloaded your shotgun. And this creature's slowly getting up. You can see parts of it just kind of crumbling off. Uh, its legs crumble to the floor. It's like a one-legged man. Um, half its face is still gone. Um, and it's just crumbling. So I'm, I'm still part by part. kind of... Like, uh, kind of. So I'm still having flashbacks of this war where I was burned, yeah. etc. Can I shoot Is there anything the I can do to help him out? Uh, you can if you want. You can roll. Um... Oh, Sorry, message. I just thought I'd do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want, you can um, roll luck for me. Your luck's pretty high as well, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm going to let you do it anyway. Uh, how do you want to snap him out of it? I need to, like, make him snap out of it, calm him down. Yeah. Make him realise the situation is in, basically. Yeah. <laughs> is that a thing I can do? Uh, you can bitch smack him if you want. That's I the knew face. you were going to say that. <laughs> is it going to hurt me? No. Okay, good. Bitch slap away. 
No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Shake him, try and call his Bro, name. Please snap out of it. Come on. It's, it's over. It's over. Yeah, okay, I, 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 yeah he starts, right he now. comes I, out I, of it. I, it, it, it Focus I, on me. Focus on me. Focus right. on my hairy face. <laughs> I, I, look, I look, look at my smile and I do a, a nice <laughs> smile. I, I, I look at the way Samuel is smiling and just remember the first time how we met, how, how I, after joining the, the army and after training, we were, you know, drinking and how Oops. he was there and how he looked across, smiled at me and was like, hey, how's it going? Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, it's the legend Samuel Barnaby. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. So you're completely snapped out of it. This thing's still trying to come up the stairs as it's crumbling away. I, now, at my senses, very pissed off, he just bitch slapped me, the, 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 the creature. I, I shoot at the creature, at the remaining part of his face. Yep, yeah, wrong. You got this, you got this. Oh, I hit. Yeah, so you as you it. get your gun ready, you aim and I'm gonna sneeze. It. <laughs> And that is the sound that it makes <laughs> when it goes like, at you and no, you shoot and its face just <laughs> explodes enough and it slumps to the floor. Any sign of that light that it had just fizzles away and it just cr- turns into rock and it crumbles into nothing. Okay. And it's like a sh- outline shape of this headless one-legged thing on the floor. Okay. I walk up over there and just kick that like ash around. <laughs> Oh, he's no, just I'm making a mess in. now. No, no, he, he's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just, it's it's just, just like this pile of, like, ash. Is just... there anything interesting in the ash? Can I have a look? See if there's anything of use? There yeah. is. You actually see another medallion that resembles the one that Amelia gave you. So, ooh, okay. So I see the medallion and I, I, I look at the one that's round my neck yeah. at this time. And I look at it. Um, so I pick up the other medallion. Mm. And I look at both of them together, okay. side by side. And as you look at them, what you do is you actually turn them both over. Mm-hmm. And one's got Emilia on the back. Mm-hmm. And one's got Frederick on the back. Oh, okay. So I think I just killed Emilia's dad. I feel bad now. Well, no, I don't. He just tried to kill me. Well, then, Brucey, I think we found the cause. Yeah, <laughs> um... I, there's something definitely going on with Amelia's family here. I should, should, should I keep them both together? Should we keep them separate? I don't know. I, I like keep them for now. Keep yeah, them, I, I them. touch them together and see if anything happens. Because like I say, it's like Rooney. Yeah. So so I'm like touching them together and see what happens. Yeah. You know, just stupidly. Clink, 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 clink. Yeah. Yeah. Clink, 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 clink. clink, 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 clink. Yeah. Yeah. Anything happen? Nope. I feel stupid and put it around my neck with Amelia's. Okay, um, and as you look out Quite the window, the Olympic winner you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> gold medals. Yes. And as you actually look out the window, you actually see the weather calming down. The rain is slowing. Both of us, or just me? Both of you. Oh, okay. So I'm like, oh my god, it's stopping. It's stopping, Samuel. Let's. Maybe if we wait just a little bit longer, we can actually use the landline. Yeah, yeah. Let's. Let's. Should, should we go back over to it? You know, like, I think the first thing we need to do is take a look at your face. Put yes. the look, lick, lower the gun. You need, we need to take care of you. Yeah, no, thank you, thank you. Are you going to do a first aid, or is Daniel going to do a first aid himself? <laughs> I think we're going to do it together. Okay, if both of you roll then. Either way, like, I really got to go soon, because I got to Yeah, yeah, go this, is, this is basically it. Right. Power card just, man's dirty, so. Yeah. Yeah, no. You slap some ointment on. Um, it gives you a huh. cooling effect. And with his help, he kind of... Um, oh boy, I actually like, helped a lot, actually. You did, actually. So he's the one that actually brought you the cooling ointment can, can that you've you applied to your face. Make sure that I don't scar so I don't lose any more of my appearance. It's going to scar. It's Damn no matter bias. what. Because it was left so long, it's going to scar. Not as bad as you think, <coughs> but at least it's cooling on your oh. face. Oh my god, yes, this feels so refreshing. I'm loving this. Yep. And... I love how we've destroyed it all together. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And thus, the, the crazy weather has ended. The, the storm has passed. It's like it's a beautiful, sunny morning. 
Okay, the birds are chiming. The birds are whistling. The ones that you didn't hear at all while you were there at all. You hear a little bit of like ducks and chickens going out. A little bit of meh. No, you'd have to go to the doctor for that. Okay. It's a little bit hopeful, but I'm guessing it's not over just yet. Is it? No, it can be over. If you need to go, it can be over. I mean, we can continue this in another occasion. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, end it there. Just make sure you've got down what you've got. Um, oh, the torch is gone. Yeah, that torch is gone. The house is on fire, by the way. Oh, before we end this, can we escape the burning building? You escape the burning building. So you jump out of the window and do like a roll. Well, wait, wait, you do wait. a flip. Before we go, should we check the landline to see if the landline's working? You want to go down go? where the fire is, near the phone? Oh, no, hell no, I'm not doing that. No, we should probably just leave. Yeah, no, we, we, we escape the building, building in a safe manner. You basically climb out of the window. Okay. And you both look fucking awesome as it's like slow motion walk away from a burning, crumbling house oh that you know God. you Samuel just got a shotgun over his shoulder. Oh, yes, yeah, Samuel's got a shotgun over swagger. his shoulder. His tie undone. Hairy chest on show. You with your little ointment um, patch on your face. As we're walking away, looking all cool and badass, I, I reload my gun because I'm down to two shots. So I, I That's a pretty good idea. I, I reload my, my Magnum 45. Uh, so I've got full ammo in the chamber again, and and holster it. Yeah. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I think we should make our way back to that diner now. Yeah, but that's the the direction we go with. So we will be walking. Should, before we go, should we get back to the diner or just and walking towards it? No, we should like end it by heading to the diner and if we're going to continue this then next time continue is probably at the diner itself yeah right yeah just yeah. keep that whole walking area yeah, yeah. no that's cool I'm, ha I'm happy with that that was a pretty good uh, short little session mm -hmm. yeah no, I, I like that Ta sparkly Reynolds sparkly Reynolds sparkle sparkle such a brilliant picture that Just look at cool. that picture again. Right? <laughs> that <is so> good. <laughs> I did I did that literally in like thirty seconds. I I will get a picture for Brucey as well. Yeah. Uh, for next time. <laughs> Dude, if you want my help, I'm glad we help. Yeah, no, we, we will we will work together to get a Brucey. Yeah. <laughs> Sharp the, picture. The, Sparkle the the dad of brothers. I'll call Brucey. Yeah. <laughs> The dazzling dudes. <laughs> the dazzling dudes. <laughs> from from the army. What what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna try and think of some form of like stories of why I wanted to meet Samuel Barnaby. Yeah, definitely. From the army. I'll I'll get that and we'll work on stuff like that. We'll we'll get a backstory going and whatnot. So for next time, people that are watching we, we will fill you in a bit of a backstory of Brucey and Sam, Samuel. Samuel Barnaby. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It's a pretty nice name that I've found and thought about it in like a second. What is that music? Belinda. Belinda, Belinda Jones, Jones the III. Third. I, I will also reminisce about Belinda Jones the Third as well. <laughs> His so, dead something wife. Something for you to, to, th to think about that you just kind of ruined. Now they know who she is. Not you. Not, you you, didn't, no. you never ruined anything. No one heard anything. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, can can I uh, shamelessly plug? Yeah. Can I? Yeah, go for it. Alright, so if anyone's watching the stream or the recording, I'm still looking for players for my two campaigns uh, set in Vampire the Masquerade as well as Apocalypse World. I'm, I'm so if anyone is interested, just send me a message over at Discord. Uh, my Discord is Crabsy, yeah. uh, number 4983, or just through uh, the tabletop table RPGs like to party, sorry. Uh, Discord server there, I'm there as well. Cool. Sweet. Thus. End. Thus it ends. Well done on actually surviving that. I know, I was quite surprised. <laughs> when I got slapped by it, I was like, oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> I am so gonna die. When that happened, I was like, um, I can't believe I didn't pull him sooner. I was gonna pull him, but then this shit happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Oh, God. Um, I'm going to try and get over my fear of fire as well. I think I'm going to have to try and overcome that. Yeah. During this game. (laughs) (laughs) There's always chances of fires. I I wasn't thinking. I just wanted to think of some form of thing cool. I was like, I was in the army. I've got a scar. Seriously, when when he put his thing as a a fear of moustaches, I was like, God. (laughs) Because the manager has a (laughs) moustache. He's going to look at me and go, (laughs) gonna be what's that thing on your face get it off get it off get it off now pulls out a knife try shaving him <laughs> just shave <laughs> let me shave, shave you oh, pulls out a gun <laughs> get it off your face now oops i yeah. need to kill that thing <laughs> there's a Don't fairy slug on your face it's a hairy caterpillar moving <laughs> across your lips and then things you call eyebrows they are not eyebrows <laughs> <laughs> what there's a parasite on your face <laughs> Oh, that's good. Right. Yeah, if you want to do a last shameless plug, I allow you to do it again before we go off. Anyone? Because I already did mine. Just, just letting you know. I mean, this is the first time I've played with with uh, Samuel. I'm gonna stay in character until we go. First time I've uh, played with with Samuel, and it was really, really fun. So I, I suggest playing with him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Take that both ways. <laughs> <laughs> With golf clap. <laughs> Charmed. <laughs> Charmed. 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 I'm sure. I'm sure. Yes, I'm wet, but Martini's still dry. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Yeah, no, cool. well, yeah. There's a game's gonna go happen, and we need players. Both me and those. Yes. Yes. So yes. please send messages, let us know. Yes, via Discord. You can even get hold of Crabsy. What's yours? Uh, mine is like Crabsy, and then like the pound key four nine eight three. Cool. That's my unique number. Yes, and you can just look up Noseberry everywhere. Everyone knows Noseberry. Yeah, I'm everywhere. You can message me on here. Everywhere. Household name. Household name. Get your Noseberry now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I try my best to organize like these. Orgies. Yeah, it's very thorough and detailed. I love it. It's like the details just are like visual, mental visual orgasms. Is, is, is it like a, a tiefling eating half a purse into a wolf? <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> what did a tiefling do? <laughs> I know he was in the dragons with him and he was in a dungeon and he basically uh... ended up, because he rolled so well, I let him just slice this man in half. This man was a dick. Yeah, well, who was it? Sansa. 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 And what happened was there was a wolf, and he fed the half the man's corpse I to a wolf. I bloodied the wolf, and he was injured. I realised he was injured, so I went back and got half of Sansa and and fed him to the wolf to try and make friends. <laughs> and it worked, but he didn't realise was there was when he did it, it was in like a a jail prison sort of area. So there's people on the wall staring at him like in horror, like what the fuck? He was like, what are you here for? And they're like. Don't hurt us, please! <laughs> Don't feed us to the wall! I was just like, oh, hey guys, what's happening? Just feeding half a, a wizard elf to a blooded wolf. It worked! <laughs> I got me a wolfie. <laughs> it, which is what I called my pet wolf, by the way. Yeah, it's called Wolfie now. Yeah, cool. Appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit out of it, like, I'm pretty tired. To go sleep, man. Yeah, no, no, it's been enjoyable, man. I gotta wake up like seven hours from now or six hours from now. I know that feeling. Totes. Oh, and then and, and got like it's gonna be. Cool. Right, I'm gonna <sighs> the stream then. Yeah. Second. <laughs> gonna end the stream. What you say? What you say? Ooh, that you only meant well. I love that because whenever something dramatic happens, I have it in my head. I'm like, ooh, what you say? Yeah, yeah no, I'm ending this now. <laughs> bye, Crabsy. <laughs> bye, peeps. Bye, bye. Catch you on the flimmy flop. Go down, you in a theater.